So today in the boot guy, I'm gonna take you guys out with me to answer a few of your emails to get some work done because I have two boots I have to go shoot personally for the boot guy website and just show you guys a, a couple things on where I work and what I do when I'm not in front of the camera talking about boots and what I like and don't like about them. So let's go out and do this. So you guys have commonly asked me questions about gear lately, about what I use to shoot with and how am I producing the videos, what programs am I using in the back end, and stuff like that. And it's pretty simple. So let me run you through my basic gear and what I use to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. So my gear is exceptionally lightweight. If I'm shooting soft goods for somebody, whether it be outdoor goods or work goods or just something that's shirts or pants or stuff like that, what I usually end up using, and it's funny, I just, I really prefer lighter weight equipment. I don't bring a lot of gear with me. So I use my Canon 80D. I have a Sigma 30 millimeter lens on it that I, is basically my go-to lens, unless I need to have a little bit more distance with more background, then I use a Sigma 50 millimeter lens. And this lens on that body with the battery pack, we're talking about a seven pound camera build out like that. So it gets a little heavy on an all day shoot. Not extremely heavy, nothing I can't handle, but it is still on the heavy side for what I'm using it for. But at the same time, I don't have a ton of gear. I never really shoot models outside of an outside environment. I don't shoot them in, I don't shoot interiors, and I just don't like shooting the interiors with the models, especially if it's a new designer. When it's a new designer, I really want to get them out because they're hiring me for that more gritty urban type feel of shooting. Okay, so the next email comes from Ryan, and Ryan asks me, Hey Isaac, what type of camera are you using inside the studio to record your reviews with? They're very clear and very crisp. It doesn't seem to be that you are shooting on a 4K camera, but yet it looks really good on YouTube. Can you tell me more about it? Thanks, Ryan. Okay, so, Ryan, I am using an XA10 uh, handheld um, HD video camera. I wish I could tell you more about it. Um, at first, when I was shooting the first few reviews, like the first 50 or 60, I shot, I shot most of those reviews on a DSLR. And the quality of them, as you guys can tell, was pretty poor focal issues and stuff like that and it wasn't until I moved into getting this video camera when I thought that it was the next step um, I picked it up right after the, the right after I became an affiliate with Amazon and it, it seemed to make a lot of sense instead of them paying me for things I could get uh, gift cards and credit and stuff like that so I just wanted to up the equipment rather than just get the money and then go around and Amazon had a lot of great deals and a lot of different stuff now the beautiful part about the XA10 is that it's an older video camera now, so the quality isn't there, it's not 4K. But for what I do inside, showing off the boot and just trying to get you guys a better idea of what it is you're about to buy, I think it works pretty good. So Ryan, thanks a lot for the question. From Aaron in Minnesota, Aaron writes to me saying, hey Isaac, I follow you on Instagram and Twitter. Lately, I've realized you use a location called Jeff's Red Hots for a lot of your tags. I do, because I eat at Jeff's quite often. Could you please show me what the hell is so important about Jeff's Red Hots? Thank you, Aaron. Okay, well, Aaron, in my opinion, Jeff's Red Hots probably has the best hot dog in Chicago based off of toppings and style of dog. But don't take my word for it. What do you say we run over to Jeff's and grab one really quick before I get to shooting these boots?
So that's a Jeff's hot dog. Bun, hot dog, sauerkraut, hot peppers, pickle, tomatoes, onions, and relish. Just the perfect Chicago hot dog, in my opinion. While I'm sitting down, let me answer the next email that I got. And this email comes from Ryan. Ryan asks, hey Isaac, what's up with all the affiliate links? Can you explain them to me more? Should I be using them when I'm buying my stuff off Amazon or working persons? Ryan, the affiliate links are ways that I can take my videos that I make, my review videos, and make a little extra money on them by you guys either buying the product or buying something within my affiliates account. At any time, if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you just wanna help out, the affiliate link is the best way that you can help me out. If you're looking at something on Amazon, just shoot me over an email and I can send you over a couple links to the products that will give me a percentage of that sale in order for me to keep making the videos and to keep the quality of the videos up. So thanks a lot for the email, buddy. And thanks a lot for the question, more or less. I mean, it's kind of one of those questions that I never knew how to uh, answer or how to even talk about. And you opened that door for me, so thanks a lot. So right now we're on Milwaukee Avenue and if I was shooting models or if I was shooting garments for somebody or just uh, something that I needed somebody to walk around or move around and I wanted more of that urban type look or setting in the background, I would definitely use this wall and I have used this wall a lot. So this is another one of those places that I use quite often to shoot against and for, mainly because I love the way the stairs come up and when I stick a model down in between the two barriers here, it gives me a real nice backdrop of that brick wall. Something I can shoot them against and not have it completely look foreign where it doesn't really make sense. This is one of the locations that I go to. This is an abandoned plastics factory that has probably been out of commission now for about four years. Uh, and since then, it has, well, as you can see, it has become a canvas for a lot of local artists, for a lot of uh, graffiti artists or, you know, piecers, taggers, whatever you want to call these guys. It's become their canvas. and. The work has greatly improved over the last three years. I mean, there is some real ugly shit that was up on this wall, say, last fall. But a couple of guys have come by and uh, they've made it look pretty damn good. It makes it a lot easier for me, especially when I'm shooting against stuff like this. When it looks good, the colors are good, and it kind of matches the colors in whether it be clothing or products that I'm shooting against. But the place where I want to shoot the boots today is not against the beautiful wall. It's actually up about two blocks along the tracks here. It's the bridge that crosses over Milwaukee Avenue. And it's kind of rusted. It's got a lot of great color to it. So here it's sections like this. This little section right in here that I really, really love. It's in the shadow, but I got some beautiful, bright, diffused sunlight today the clouds are completely doing a great thing for me right now so i'm going to set up i'm going to lace these boots up and i'm going to try and snap a few shots right over in there so this section over here is truly where i really want to capture these boots where i want to really just show them off and just show off some of the details but as you can tell, as I was saying, the light was good. The light was good in the shade, but now that I'm here in the place where I think everything would look really good, it's just way too bright. Like this stack of old railroad ties is something that I really want to put the boots on. But as you can tell, those railroad ties are way too hot and way too bright. And then I've got this section here that I really want to show them off on too. And this also, the sunlight right now, is just way too much for me to be doing this. Here, have a look. So I figure I'd leave for a while and come back a few hours, maybe about 5.30, 6 o'clock, and I'll just wait for the light to change, for the sun to move over into more of the pretty red sections. If I'm using the word pretty okay, I mean, is what I'm looking for. 
and I just think everything's just gonna look 100% better. So let's go back, let's go do our three o'clock meeting, let's go edit a, a new boot review video, and I'll come back out here. All right, so I actually waited to 7.40 to leave the house to get out to shoot these, just because the sky is absolutely perfect. Not a cloud in the sky. The color is gonna be stunning on these boots once I get up to where I wanna shoot them. And I did not wanna lose that color at all. If I went and went out an hour earlier, if I would have went out at 6 30, 7 o'clock, I would not have these casting shadows, these orange, bright, beautiful colors. So let's get to the location and let's finish shooting. So the thing is, the whole idea of this light and capturing it at the right time, it seems that a lot of people probably don't understand this, but just look at the light behind me now. This is what I'm talking about. This is that perfect light. So I'm gonna set the camera down so I can shoot in it, so I can get these photos that I'm looking for. Just so you guys fully understand what it is I'm talking about when I say how beautiful this light is. Check that out. It's like a dream. It makes the boots look like a dream when they're that well lit and just perfect. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the road trip and I'm really sorry about the time frame. That it took me a little bit longer than it should have in order to get out here and get these photos shot and everything like that. But I did it. Alright, so I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Thanks for spending some time with me and checking out how I spend my day and what I do, you know, inside and outside the studio and just how I go about making a living most days. You know, whether it's with, you know, a YouTube video or my camera or if I actually have to go to work and actually do a real job. So please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out and if you got any questions about workwear, footwear, or just anything that has to do with boots, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, to the next time. I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.